Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Building a Better South. I'm Zach Woods, project manager for Artisan Signature Homes. We're back at the fine home building house today in Norton Commons. We've just got all the R sheeting put up and the isonine spray foam installed. And today we're gonna to be doing a blower door test on the house to check for the leakage and make sure that the house is up to energy standards and far surpasses those. I'm joined here today by Eric George with Building Performance Group. Eric, tell us a little bit about what we're going to be doing today. Sure. So today what we're going to do is an air leakage test on the house and we're going to use a blower door system um, which basically depressurizes the house <clears throat> and we're going to suck air into the house with the blower door and then use infrared cameras to go around and see uh, wherever those air leakage points may be so that we can have them sealed up a little bit better. So Awesome. Well, let's get set up and get started. All right, let's do it. All right, guys, we have the blower door system set up in the front door, fan set up, pressure gauge is linked. Uh, we've done our baseline pressure measurement. And what we're gonna do is basically turn the blower door on and um, get the pressure difference in the house to negative 50 pascals of pressure. And what that basically means is we're gonna simulate 20 mile an hour winds hitting the house from every angle at the same time. So this is a building science standard test that we do to test um, air leakage in houses. Um, when we get this, uh, the pressure difference up, it's gonna give us an air leakage rate in the house, and an, an average air leakage rate is usually about one half CFM uh, of air leakage per square foot of total house. So, for example, this house is about 3,800 square feet, so an average number would be something like, you know, 17, 1,900 CFM. Um, but a, a completely spray foamed house should have a, a leakage rate of about half that. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the blower door on and see what kind of numbers we get here. So on the pressure gauge, the number on the left is the pressure difference in the house. The number on the right is the amount of air leakage in the house at a pressure difference of 50 pascals. So again, this house is around 3,800 square feet or so, including the basement. And we're getting a leakage rate somewhere in the mid 600s, it looks like right now. So I'm gonna let this average out. It's gonna be around 630 to 640. It is a little windy outside, so it's gonna affect the numbers slightly, but mid 600s for a size house this, this big is a really, really good number. So now what we're gonna do is let this run for about 10 minutes, uh, get a good pull on the house. It'll pull in uh, some cold air from the outside and wherever there's leaks um, throughout the enclosure of the house, we're gonna use an infrared camera to go around and see where those leaks are. Here's a couple of places I'm talking about. You've got um, a support structural beam here that's penetrating the exterior wall. And at the bottom of that beam, um, it, it's been foamed, but there's a little bit of a gap here. This air is coming through. Same thing at the top right there. And then on the eye joist where this electrical line goes up into the, um, into the eye joist, there's air coming out at the top there, as well as over at this hole here at the top. So um, the foam contractor is just going to try to get some more foam in there to seal that back up and uh, take care of it. And then obviously the top of the door here needs to be foamed as well. We use minimal expansion foam so it doesn't uh, bow the door and cause problems with it opening and closing. All right, so we just wrapped up uh, doing the thermal imaging on the house. We found a few areas of air leakage in the house, uh, pretty minor stuff that just needed to be caulked or foamed, touched up. And um, we've got the blower door running again to see what the difference was. And we started out around 650 to 670 CFM. We've got it down to about 566, 570 right now. So we've chopped off about another 100 CFM in, in the house. Uh, so the house is really tight and it goes to 
you know, all everything that they put into this house, the, the R sheathing, zip wall system, uh, liquid flashing, the good caulk and seal package, Louisville spray foam did, um, the Lapola isonine spray foam that's in the walls, it all adds up and it makes this house a really tight, efficient and comfortable home. I want to thank Eric George again at Building Performance Group for coming out here and doing this test for us today. I think it really far surpassed all of our expectations. Just wanted to recap again real quick what we've done here on this house that helped achieve some of those results. We've used the Huber R sheeting from Zip System and also the liquid flashing from Huber Wood Products. The zip system has a half inch foam backer board on the plywood, which gives you a continuous envelope around the home. And then you've got the liquid flash, which is applied from a caulking tube and smeared and pressed into the seams between the plywood and over all the nail heads. It gives you a really nice tight seal. And once dry, it's a little bit of a rubberized texture, really expands and contracts with the weather, all that. We also use zip flashing tape from time to time same idea you peel it off roll it on air seals the house but this product is what gave us the far superior performance along with the isonine lapola product that we used as our insulation all right guys one last thing i want to show you i've got ben monsma from louisville spray foam insulation ben tell us a little bit more about the product we used in this house so we use and have been using pretty exclusively Isonine Lapola's open cell spray foams. The big reason why we choose them is they make the safest foam on the market. At three and a half inches, it's an airtight barrier. So that allows us to really build a high performance house and not have any problems that you would with fiberglass or cellulose. Thank you, Ben. We really appreciate it. Y'all did a great job. Thank you. All right, guys, thank you for watching. We will see you next week. Until then, you can follow us on Instagram at Artisan Signature Homes.